Back now at Johnny's Barn. Johnny's got a lot of horses in that top barn under his care right now. Uh, some of them will be heading south, uh, some of them this week, and some of them later on. Arches Rainbow won't be. Jeez, I love what he's done with this filly. She looks awesome out there on the track. Very happy with Arches Rainbow. Blue by Udeo. I'm going to leave her, I think, to the bitter end. I know James is leaving for a bit. Um, I'd rather not have her go anywhere. I'd like to see this filly in particular maybe qualify at Mohawk. So any of the horses that I think should qualify at Mohawk, I'm not moving. I'll get to a couple more down the list and tell you why. Bomb Hugger is coming over here. She's going to have to race on a half-mile track for most of her two-year-old year in New York, so there's no reason for her not to be here. Century Invictus obviously staying in Ontario. This is an Ontario bred LSL I'm going to bring here. Pennsylvania bred won't be on a half, but at the same time, want to get this guy fired up. I think he's got some talent there, and I want to drop the hammer on him over the next month. We'll see how Ellis behaves, but he's coming here this week, I believe. Garden State Dio is not. This is a filly that doesn't need to be on a half, other than if she happens to go to Freehold later in the summer. She's got enough experience on a half to be just fine, but I think the big track is where you're going to find her most of the year. So starting at Mohawk, qualifying at Mohawk, and if we decide to go to the Meadowlands, great, but a Mohawk start for her is probably where she belongs. Harlan L., although he's not here yet and isn't scheduled to come here this week, he will come here very soon. Kathy with an I, uh, still in the university. She'll come out tomorrow, hopefully. I haven't got any any 911s from the, from the vet or the surgeon. It was my understanding that she would be taken home tomorrow. So before James leaves to come to the States, James, I've asked him to take my truck and trailer across, drop my trailer off at Northfield, and take my truck if he wants to uh, New York and New Jersey for a couple of weeks to hang out there. Um, uh, before he leaves, I'd like him to take the Philly home from the university. Um, Mischievous Rose was absolutely awesome on Saturday. Very, very impressed with Mischievous Rose. Miss Mildred, not as impressive on Saturday, but has been great. Made a couple of breaks on Saturday. James figures, let her hobbles out, brace bandages behind, change her shoes to a half round, half swedge. Exactly what I would have done. So this is exactly why I wanted James in charge of the horses. What I would do, he already knows. So um, Miss Mildred... I don't think you're going to see many mistakes made from Miss Mildred in the future. Uh, Northern Blizzard trained in 2-4-4, four, and four, James said on Saturday, and looked very, very good. Peanut Butter and Jelly is not in Johnny's barn. She's in Harry's barn. I knew I'd made a mistake. Boom. Uh, Resolute Bay. Johnny continues to get along good with this horse. Ra uh, trained awesome on Saturday. So did Spent. Johnny had a big day on Saturday. Spent looked very, very good on Saturday. Also, Stonebridge Dolce was fine. Stonebridge Dolce just needs to uh, keep doing what she's doing. I know she made a little break the other day, but she looked good before then. Starting to trot good and get her legs under. Very impressed with what I've seen from a lot of these horses that were down near the bottom of the list all year. You see them start to climb the ladder. And following, Hopefully following Procrastinator and what he's done, that has been uh, uh, an unbelievable um, you know, resurrection from where he was to where he is. We bought him to be a very good horse. All winter he struggled with sickness and just rough and looked terrible and then little by little he got better and then the other day just came forward uh, in a massive way and he's been coming forward but man he looked good the other day and I'd like to see the same from Stonebridge Dolce. Ty went on was very very good in training the other day both her and Arches Rainbow finished together and looked very good. Uh, twinkle in her eye you just you can't sit back I see when Jimmy goes with her he sits back a little bit. Jimmy if you're watching this on a helmet that means this far from the person in front of you with the bit in her mouth and when you move her snap her on the tail and make her do her work don't give her an inch she'll take a mile that is my advice for twinkle in her eye and whoever goes with her were we welcome i have coming over here she should be racing not giving her an inch either this is a filly that's still in a maiden should never be in a maiden was still a maiden because she's never won she can race at northfield the meadows yonkers uh plain ridge she can race wherever but she's going to race um, and will to win Hanover. She's coming over here. I know James is a little worried about sending her over here. She might get a little warm. But if he's not there to go with her, she's coming here with me. And that is that. She's close. She'll likely go. Um, this is a filly. Keep in mind. I'll, I'll just lay it all out for you. Will to win Hanover. We'll probably qualify her somewhere around here. Whether it's in Meadows or whether it's Northfield. We'll qualify her somewhere. Uh, and then she'll likely head to, uh, if she's as good as I believe she is, I may never drive her, and I may never go with her after July. This is a filly I could easily, you know, pick up the phone and maybe ask Jim Jim Campbell if he'd take her. Or one of the trainers, any of the trainers we've used to take her. This is a filly that I believe as of right now, and there's a lot that can take place. As you can see, a lot that can take place in a short period of time. But this is a filly I got really high hopes for. She could be something. And um, 
we'll see. We'll see what she becomes over here. I know James wants to keep her there, a racer at Mohawk, and but no, Pennsylvania Stakes start the second week in July. If she's good, I want her ready. I want her ready to go. And if she's real good, she won't be here. She'll be somewhere on the East Coast. So, will Dwayne Hanover ends up Johnny's Burn? A lot of really good looking trainers here in Johnny's Burn the other day. I was super impressed on both sides of the border with the ones here, the professionalism they showed behaving themselves on a new track and a new facility around new horses, and then the horses in Ontario coming forward in a big way, just really pumped about the entire group top to bottom here at thestable.ca. I'll be back in a minute. We only got one left. That's a small burn. It's got a new stable to talk about. Just a minute.